Uh, yes, not only that, but also messes up laptops apparently, so do not bring a laptop. So a neutral object, at least I hope it's neutral. Markets mess up laptops as well. Uh, bring up a charge object. If I bring up a charge object to a neutral object, what should happen? Move. 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 Wait. It should attract. 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 Charged object, neutral object. Attract. Oh, God. Oh, oh yes, so they're attracted. Oh. So, why did it not attract or affect? It should. One's relatively left. It should attract and it's repelling. They're both equally charged. No, they're certainly not equally charged. They're both equally charged. Equally charged. Yeah, this guy here is obviously charged to some extent. And in fact, it's quite actually difficult to discharge these guys. One of the ways to discharge it, you hit it. try to hold it like this. Oh, really? Another way is to put it through a Bunsen burner, or to put it through a flame, supposedly. I still don't know if it's totally discharged. One way to find out if it's discharged is to see if it can pick up bits and pieces. If it's neutral, it won't pick up anything. Not picking up anything, which suggests that it's neutral, so we balance it again. So if you're a biology teacher teaching this for the first time, electrostatics is a nightmare. Away we go. Biology teacher? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just like I don't know anything about biology. I mean, it's, it's and the textbook gives it as being so matter of fact. You do this and you get this result, but anything can go wrong. So sh that was a neutral object. This was a charged object. One attracted the other. If I now take a neutral object like a meter stick, we've seen all this before. So I'm just building up to something else. What happens if that's not neutral? So that is neutral to begin with. Correct. What happens if that's not neutral? Can a meter stick be charged? I don't think so. Unlikely. Unlikely. It can't really be charged. So a charged object up to a neutral object like a meter stick, wow. and it attracts it. Now the question is, this is what I taught at 5 o'clock this morning. In fact, this was the last thing we built up at. If I charge this guy and balance this, if I bring my fingers up to it, you've got a charged object, neutral finger, what will happen? The thing will follow your finger. And if it was balanced properly, we did this the last time, did it? Well, it did. Very briefly. But this is all building up the one that's a bit more impressive. Rotate, move, somewhere on the line, move. There we go. Well, why is there one end charged? Because I think how the boys were actually showing to me, which I forgot when I was doing it, I'm holding it like this, charging it like that, so you find out the one end is charged and one end is neutral. Another silly thing that it's so easy to forget. Anyway, why am I doing all this? Because you are going to touch what happens if you've got a neutral object, like a meter stick, charge the person. And you charge the person. <laughs> It's going to be huge. Yeah. Huge. <laughs> so whenever you're ready there, Shane, start charging your circle. Do you just touch it? Are you going to grab onto it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I'm going to, I need another meter stick because there's only me getting the shot here. Get up. Ranch up. Touch it. <laughs> uh, touch this. You can actually find a shot coming from that. From this? Yep. Yeah. No, from, from what I'm touching there with the meter stick. Now what you're going to do is bring your fingers, let's say, up like that, see if you can attract it. Awesome. Bring it in close, it's got to be fairly close to it. Magneto. <laughs> is that is or is that not person? impressive? <laughs> back the other way. What? Back yeah, the other way. Right. Showing that you're not. No, you no, you want to increase the overlap the area. It's like that. Yeah. Sides, yeah. It's not bad. Oh, no, it's still working. Force is so great. So you should make a little pin thing to spin around. So you've got a charged object attracting a neutral object. Charge something. Impressive. I think it's very impressive. So realistically, if you did that enough, Theoretically, you could attract everything to Yeah, pick up bits and pieces of paper. Yeah, pick up like pieces of paper. Uh, Matthew, just while you're there, this one here, pieces. In fact, you can turn that off. <laughs> That's why it's amusing. Coco pops. Coco pops. You don't need another mask. You don't need any more, sir. Don't need you anymore. You are now subject to requirements. Coco pops. I charge it. What happens? Can you pick up on that? I took Shane's hair to the solo. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, they'll be attracted to And they'll still move up and down. Are they neutral? Yep, neutral objects. Snap, crackle, and pop. And I'm charging this. Smart. I like the things. Anyway. Silly. Yeah, it is physics. That was just a distraction. I want to get out of it.